Hi everyone. So today we are looking into the power of our travel trailer here. Uh, we're having an issue where uh, we're not getting any power from the batteries. We assumed it was just the battery. It was an older battery. So we bought two new batteries actually to connect to, to, to our travel trailer and uh, got them all connected, but we were still having problems. And um, I started to open everything up, uh, watch a few other videos as well. Um, some of them were saying there might be another breaker somewhere that might be blocking it. I couldn't find any on our trailer that were, it was showing any problems with any uh, like reset buttons for the power coming directly from the battery. Um, but what I did do is um, we're gonna go in the travel trailer here. So here we have uh, our electrical panel here uh, with uh, your normal full electrical current and your DC. Basically, I just removed the covers and took everything out just to test to see the voltage coming in here. And when I tested it, this is how I saw the current in here was just very low. And um, yeah, I'm, I'm not getting right, nothing right now because I think it's just disconnected from the battery outside right now. But it was just very low. I was like, a, I was getting like about a two or so. And uh, nothing else here seems to be wrong. Okay, we're back outside. And uh, I have actually just found out what our problem is. Um, I uh, noticed there was a lot of corrosion and this has already happened with uh, when we were trying to connect uh, the plug into our, uh, just to plug the RV into the, tra the trailer hitch. And uh, the plug was very, very corroded. And um, so we actually just cut it and, uh, and put a new one in. Uh, however, here, I didn't want to go through all the cutting and everything like that and, uh, um, or getting new wires or anything like that. So what I did was um, I got some CLR uh, I just put it in a can. I, I dipped all the ends into the CLR. I just got a toothbrush here and I started uh, scrubbing them. And uh, once I got done with that, I put it back on the terminal. And as soon as we were done, we now have power. It's surprising how bad um, calcium buildup uh, can affect uh, this type of situation we were not getting any power in, uh, from the batteries at all and as soon as I, uh, I just uh, uh, clear, cleaned all the calcium buildup uh, we now have DC power into the trailer and I will show you, um, you know, the voltage meter is reading power So as soon as I okay, all right. So now you can see I have power. Okay. Now uh, I hope this video saves you a lot of time. I ended up opening everything back up. I, as you saw. I opened a lot of things and uh, now that everything is uh, solved, now that this problem is solved, I can close everything back again. But I hope this video will save some of you some time. Be sure to like and subscribe and comment. And uh, thank you for watching. And uh, be sure to, uh, uh, again, leave a comment and I will be sure to answer any questions any of you may have. Thank you. Bye.